The release of the Blackwell chips could be the most anticipated AI event of 2024. NVIDIA's CEO, Jensen Huang, has claimed that demand for these new chipsets is insane. At the same time, Morgan Stanley's research team is predicting $10 billion in sales from Blackwell alone in the fourth quarter. While this is promising news on the surface, there are some underlying developments that savvy investors should pay attention to. According to an article on Digitimes, NVIDIA is reportedly redirecting Blackwell orders away from Supermicro and instead working with other IT architecture specialists. Before we begin, this video is not an investment advice and must do your own diligence. However, with my experience investing for years, the content from this video has a solid research foundation. Check our patron on the description below for an inside members only access on what are the best buys now. We will also update you on what to sell for gains or to avoid losses. Subscribe to our channel so you will never miss out. Why is NVIDIA moving away from Supermicro? The last couple of months have been brutal for Supermicro. Back in August, Supermicro became the subject of a short report published by Hindenburg Research. Hindenburg alleges that Supermicro's accounting controls are weak, essentially implying that something fishy could be going on with its bookkeeping and potentially the financial outlook of the company. To be honest, I didn't think much of Hindenburg's allegations at the time. After all, short sellers have a vested interest in seeing a stock price decline, which is exactly what happened following the short report. However, Supermicro ended up delaying its annual report following the Hindenburg report. While this wasn't the best look, I remained cautiously optimistic about Supermicro. But then, in late October, Supermicro filed an 8K to notify investors that its auditor, Big Four accounting firm Ernst & Young, had resigned. Considering how much is on the line with anything related to Blackwell, it's not surprising to learn that NVIDIA is reorganizing its supply chain protocols. For now, Supermicro's top priorities should be to mitigate any further drama and get its audit and annual filing under control. Unfortunately, I think any work related to Blackwell just adds additional pressure on Supermicro right now, and a failure to execute would only result in more drama surrounding the company. What should investors look at from here? It's hard to know the exact magnitude that NVIDIA's Blackwell orders were for Supermicro. Supermicro operates in a highly intensive environment and is far from the only company specializing in storage clusters and server rack designs for data centers. Since the Hindenburg report was published, shares of Supermicro are down 58% at the time of this writing. So, while migrating Blackwell orders away from Supermicro will decelerate the company's growth and signal an extra kernel of unwanted news, there's an argument to be made that its impact is already baked into the company's share price to some degree. Conversely, shares of NVIDIA have been experiencing quite a bit of momentum as of late. In fact, as of the time of this article, NVIDIA is the most valuable company in the world by market cap, eclipsing Apple by roughly $200 billion. I think this price action speaks volumes about how excited investors are for Blackwell and what management may reveal later this month when NVIDIA reports third quarter earnings on November 20. I'm curious to learn if moving orders away from Supermicro will have any material impact on shipments of Blackwell, and if so, how that will impact NVIDIA's growth in the near term. For now, shares of both Supermicro and NVIDIA are experiencing outsized volatility, and I think it's in the best interest of investors to sit on the sidelines and let the near-term narratives surrounding Blackwell continue to unfold. AI is a long-term theme, and investors will have ample opportunities to invest in either NVIDIA or Supermicro at more prudent times and reasonable price ranges. Give us a like if you like our video. Subscribe and ring the bell to never miss out. Check our patron for an inside look on what are the best buy and sell stocks every week.